you already going to ask something about passengers? Are these luxury passengers? Like, could you put them in I an ass for a diamond back? I have not a luxury uh, cabin yet. The system I'm at doesn't sell luxury cabins. Oh, you should find a new system. That's one of the reasons I want to go to Seoul. I figure Seoul might have that. You could just look on Elite Dangerous Database. What is that? Uh... So one thing that's really cool, do you use Coriolis at all? Yeah. So they've got a link that's a dollar sign, and that will tell you what systems nearby you sell that entire loadout. But you could also go to eddb slash station, and you can look up... So one thing I had a problem with was Coriolis doesn't have the Beluga. That's... Oh, you need to use the new Coriolis. That's everything that's wrong with you. Here's the new Coriolis. They didn't tell me the one new Coriolis. They don't. I think the old one got abandoned by somebody who's like no longer playing the game or updating it. And I wish he would give you a link to the new one. Um, let me find you. <sighs> Come on, Gmail. Why do you take 18 years to load? Here you go. Check out that. They've even got a beta version, which you can get, so you can test out what ships are like on the beta. Or like how changes will affect things. Okay, let's try this once more time with feeling. Been here for an hour and a half, and I haven't even gotten past second base. I figured out a way to exit slightly faster. That's kind of cool. Three, two. Now I got 1.3 seconds faster. If I wanted to make you happy, Nick, I could go to Pellegrino Station, which is an Alliance station. You should. That has a... Uh, let's see. None of these are in a station or system I know. It's only 64 light years from Seoul, though. There's not a lot of good data on passengers. Like, I don't know if there's a specific kind of like economy I should be looking for to get good. Um, Have you Googled missions. it, or do you not know? I tried Googling it, and like, it just, yeah, it. There's not just a. I couldn't find a, a good, simple breakdown of like passengers and be dangerous or something.
here goes my perfect hole. Nobody cares about that, right? Nobody cares about that. How much does that work? 45 seconds. Oh, I'm going to Falcon to Lacey's Beginnings. That's cool. That's neat. Also, did you know that you can't shut down your um, thrusters and super crews? That's interesting. It makes sense, though. This is new. I don't know when this was updated, but this guy was saying that he did this with um, economy class runs. Did what? Just trying to make massive money. Yeah. Economy class. That's mm -hmm. why. So one of the reasons I was ignoring this whole system of the economy class missions was because the missions that I'm taking, they won't share cabins. So a four-person mission will take up a 12-person cabin and they won't let anybody else in it. Economy class cabins, that's not the case. They'll share. I mean, that makes sense. They're... It totally does. <laughs> but I, I just didn't... Okay. There's mm -hmm. nothing in the game that tells you that. Right, right. And I had messed with that as a target. Elite Dangerous people. doesn't tell you something super important? Say it ain't so. Yeah, seriously. I hear that uh, the training missions have gotten a lot better. And I think when I watched Marsta do them, I was impressed that they had oh, nice. improved so much. I don't even remember training stuff in the game. I remember being so overwhelmed by this game, I almost quit. Like a couple of times early on. I couldn't do anything, I couldn't land. I, like, I was so fucking confused. Couldn't make money, kept dying. I remember that. Well, and like they don't tell you so so like you try to jump and it's like oh your hard points are deployed and you're like i don't know what, what button what's a hard mean? point like how do i <laughs> not have them deployed like they're guns guns are on my ship like i don't know what you want me to do yeah there's just no data um, and yeah things like telling you how to turn flight assist on and off what that means that's important but i can understand that they're not going to include that right. like i can't jump unless i retract my hard points <laughs> And there was no, like, what that meant. It was just like, can't do it, buddy. Not happening. And you're like, guess I lose. Yeah. And it's just like, well, that was super fun. Not really. Or that thing that I, I found out from you, I think, like, this week about rebooting your ship to share damage. Oh, yeah. Kind of the important. Fuck? Like, what? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, especially if you're if you've gotten unlucky out in the black and like taken some heat damage or something, and you wanted to repair it, but you couldn't repair, it, for example, like your power Fuck. plant. Fuck! Damn it! Here goes this run. Dang, you had a really good cubby out actually after having a shitty cubby dock. Yeah. So the dock, I don't consistently do at the exact same time during the docking procedure. So it's the least accurate of all the measurements. Hmm. That, that was a good run, though. What happened? You just missed it? I missed it. I was uh, too fast, and I dropped 500 kilometers from the station. I'm going to try and recover it, but... That's pretty rough. Because I want to finish, like, at least one run tonight. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Not late, actually. I thought it was later. It's not, but... So, Blizzard released some stuff talking about the schedule for this patch. I don't think they've ever delayed a raid this long. The raid's not going to come out until like six weeks or something after the patch launches. That's crazy. 
Yeah, it was really interesting. They had this whole schedule. I really like it. They were talking about it. And they were they were saying like, look, you know, we had this experience where our beta testers would log in and we'd accelerated things so that everything was available for testing. And they were like, ah, what do I do? All of the things are available, and that felt shitty. So we're gonna sort of drip feed. Interesting. First, the world quests come out, and then the invasions come out, and like you know, it's sort of staggered so that you can focus on one. I think that's a really good idea that they should have done a long time ago. Yeah, it's because sort of embarrassing that they didn't figure that out a long, long time ago. Right, because they have so much content all the time. Or, sorry, they have so much content that comes out in these giant bursts, and then people complain there's nothing to do. But those people complaining there's nothing to do probably only did, say, half the content that came in the last patch. They did the half that was most interesting to them. Yeah, but instead, exactly. you could try and get people to do a wider variety of stuff. If it down at once, people are going to be like, all right, well, which one am I going to focus? Yeah. I'll do this one. And then, yeah, they just ignore the others. All right, how many of my passengers got pissed off that they got scammed? All of them. None of them? Maybe he didn't actually finish the scan. The yeah, bomber is still chasing. He's traveled at least 2,000 light years chasing me so far. 2,000? Oh, at least. Oh, it's part of the mission, though. That makes sense. He just keeps following me. I, I've been jumping around like 100 light years. Well, not 2,000. 1,000, maybe. But in all these 20 light year jumps, and every time it's like bomber, bomber, passenger match found. Should have let you have the chance. You're my meal ticket. You're my meal ticket. You're my meal ticket. This guy's really fucking hungry, or he eats just a lot of meals a day, or maybe he just gets a shit. Maybe face he's got a big about. family to feed. Why aren't you just letting no, him no, kill you? No, no, no. If he had a family, he would <laughs> be you about carrying it. gold. That's true. Man, those assholes. Everybody knows that the children of the galaxy starve because merchants don't fill their holds with gold. <laughs> it's a fact, man. It's you such can't a weird that. thing. It's a fact. That is just the truth. I wish that they would make trading interesting in this game. How so? I don't know. Okay. But I have no interest in doing it. Like, for one thing, 99% of the commodities are like, ignore. Yeah. Stupid, what about trading happened. missions? Nope, See, I think... Huh? So, um, what about trading missions? I think that'd be cool. Yeah. They have those. But make them worthwhile. Yeah, making them worthwhile is key. Because, like, that's all American Truck Simulator is. And while it's not... I mean, on, I was going to say, while it's not a super popular game, then I'm like, actually, I'm wrong. American Truck Simulator is actually pretty popular and but you don't just haul cargo from place to place you get a mission haul pick up go pick up this cargo and deliver it here and, but you don't have to like go scan shit did you go that fast intentionally me yeah oh yeah also you're a minute and a half ahead no not actually i wish so i'll explain it in a second Yes, sir. What happened was last time I ran this race, um, uh, I'll tell you now. Hello, Twins. You're looking nice today. Um, last time I ran this race, I forgot to hit the key then. Oh, so I, I double tapped it next time, which is why I then was 18 seconds behind, because I actually am behind, even though it didn't look like it, because bullshit. So do you race in open? You have to. Oh, okay. Do people comment on the fact that you're greeting all these stations? Um, not yet. I really hope somebody does. It would be really funny. Surprise I just don't run into commanders that often. The galaxy is empty, man. Like I. Well, no, it's not the galaxy is empty. It's the galaxy is really fucking big. Yeah. Oh, but that was good. I play in open 99% of the time. 
I rarely see other commanders unless I'm deliberately going to like meet them or going to a really populated system. I guess I actually do see them more often because I actually race and I run into other racers on the course, which is basically the reason that we require races be done in open. Um, it used to be... Oh, fuck you, Beluga. Why? Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh my gosh. That was actually really cool. I should make a clip of that. Can you, like, type... Can you make a clip of that in Twitch, or does that not work? I never Thank figured you. that out. I've never made a clip. Oh, I might have to make you a moderator or something. For a system that... they want people to use. They're sure bad at it. Hold on. <laughs> um. Ah! I fucked it up, sorry. Don't worry. I waited too I'll long for the... There's a maximum length, and just when it got to the point where it was good, the clip... It's perfectly fine. Yeah. I made a note to myself to see if I can find it later or something. Um, did you see what happened? Yeah. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Fucking beluga, man. Why? Why do you hate me? Um, Stations really should have an in-slot on an out-slot. <laughs> yeah. Although... There is a good in-universe explanation for that. Like, you just couldn't fit a beluga or something through one of those slots. You'd have to have two giant slots. And that means twice as much stuff to, like, shield and whatever. Yeah, that's true. Like, it makes sense to have one slot. A clearer distinction between... Bright green and bright red? Well, sorry, I don't mean a clear distinction mm -hmm. as in letting you know which one it is, but, like... Maybe a little more space or a <laughs> yeah. center divider that people can center on, because knowing which side it is doesn't really let you know. But if you had a center the divider, way. then the beluga could get a physical divider, oh, like a visual a one. I agree, yeah, that would make sense. Divider. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, this seems unlikely. Oh, see, next, uh, my next objective is ice geysers again. Ice geysers. Now, do you actually have to land and like scan those, or? There's a tourist beacon at all these objectives, and you have to scan the tourist beacon. Okay. It'd be, I the feel it would be kind of cool if you had to land and scan it. Well, you have to approach the planet. You have to get within like seven kilometers. Right, but the dude wants to see ice geysers, and you've got an SRV. Well, he doesn't have an SRV, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to put twelve passengers in my <laughs> SRV. <laughs> I guess that might be fair enough. He has a first class accommodation, man. Why would he want to get out? Uh, screw everything. Oh wow, look how close those are, Nick. Rather, rather close shared orbit there. It's just you. Oh, the lag. So, by the way, do you have any idea what the little icon above your um, health bar is? There's occasionally these two parentheses next to each other. I have no idea what it is. Like just above the number. In the... Oh my... Why are there belugas everywhere? This beluga is carrying me. Sexy. This beluga is carrying me on its fin. See if you can clip see. that. Um, yeah, it won't look good from the inside. Never mind. But like, 
Motherfucker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Did you see me? I was pulling back on the throttle and just like. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're coming. Can you try something? On this way. I don't know. I'm guessing it's just these stations, but I swear there's belugas like at every single fucking one. Oh, uh, Collins, there's a new, uh, Aeolus for new ships and stuff. That old UI. It's just in a new, um, hyperlink. A new dress. <laughs> Who knows? They hate you. Yeah. It's just uh, Coriolis.edcd.io. And you can now add engineered stuff onto it. So once you engineer, like your FSD. And it allows engineered stuff, and you can save an engineered part so you can put it on other ships. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, but with an actual, an actual UI. Yeah. Should I try another hauler run? Or switch to something what else? What else would you do? Which other ship would you run? Uh, um... So I would do an engineered Imperial Courier, or maybe Eagle. Oh, bugger. I'd say Eagle. Eagle would be fun, and I'd love the Eagle. Okay, let's see... what I can do. Are people doing flips? I'm going to try the courier once. Since I'm not doing flips, it should be a lot faster and smoother. <laughs> this has been so painful. It's fun, and it feels good when you do it right, but oh man. <laughs> it's just brutal. It does seem like quote-unquote door fortress fun. Uh, I love that kind of fun the best. I know, but that's because you're a pervert. That's true. You like door fortress.